the, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Does anybody have a Bible verse they'd like to share with us tonight before we get started? Anybody at all? I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Psalms 139, 14. Anyone else? God created a man in his own image. Yeah! Right. Hey, yes, sir. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Proverbs 29, 18. My sheep hear my voice and know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, and neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. That's a good one. Anyone else? Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting death. John 3, 16. Amen. Anybody else? crucified in Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, in the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20. Yes. Anyone else? God is love, First John 4.8. I ain't got no verse. I've got several on my heart and mind, but. Uh, my ain't him. I wanted to turn around and get off a piano. And uh, I can look back as a 15 year old boy and say, between this and a little white haired daddy, you wouldn't have found me here I had not been for this. The very first song I learned to play is what Donnie's fixing to sing. Went through years of piano lessons, couldn't play. Couldn't read music, still can't read music this day. My daddy said, sit down and play. Nelma said, play with your heart. Listen to what God tells you. And I'm just thankful today for my godly heritage. I want to give Mate and Elma a rose. Because y'all have to understand, it's not that I want to break from the piano to be able to get up in fellowship as much as I love to hear her play. Because I cut my teeth sitting right over there. Derek cut his teeth sitting right over there. Learn how to play the bass. Learn how to play the guitar. Learn how to play the piano. Because of the folks in our family, and I thank God for it tonight. And I love you, eight deal. And I love this song because it means so much to me because the first song me and my daddy ever sat down behind an old piano and learned how to sing. You listen to words to it as Donnie sings. I see they 
search through heaven and found a Savior to save a poor lost soul like me. Some of these songs have been singing for years and years and years. They just don't get old to me.
crossroad, I knew the time was right. When God's Holy Spirit spoke to my heart that night, He showed me my lost condition. I bowed in full contrition. Now I'm in a new position since I made up my yeah. mind. So I had to make a choice Would a runner take a stand Against this evil force But after all God's done for me Jesus' blood has set me free I choose to walk in liberty White mic. It's a, and we sang this tonight, and uh, I'm looking forward to the day. I, I'm listen. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, me too. I'm enjoying life. There's joy in salvation. Amen. 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 I'm enjoying this thing, but I look forward to the day that all this will be wrapped up. We'll enter into the to the portals of glory. Here, well done, my child. Amen. And it's a bittersweet thing to think about that, to know that there's so many. My brother Brandon over here talked about the commission and our commission. The whole purpose and the whole reason for us is to spread the gospel with the hopes of someone coming to know the Lord. Because if not, this is the day in which that a lot of people's going to face this judgment day. And they're going to be on the other side of it. So listen to the words of this. I know the, the church, church family here, we sing it a lot. To our visitors tonight, I hope this will be a blessing to you as we try to sing. All is still. Heaven is silent 
as the mighty judge ascends the throne the book of life is open as the countless souls begin to moan from the throne came a voice like thunder Depart, I know you not For the names written in this book Are the souls my blood hath bought Faces turn as into the courtroom comes the very seed of sin he who was the saints accusers must face charges against him with the fury of all the ages that demon It's not fair I almost had you On Golgotha I watched you die Then Satan He begins to tremble As his fate To him was known from the throne came the verdict, the lake of fire will be our home. And I see it, is Thank you. 
was broken, I felt so all alone. Oh, but it didn't matter how far I'd gone. God was still faithful when I came back home. My sins were forgiven and grace to me was shown. Now I stand here before you.
There's a land where I'm going when this life is gone. Where I'll not hear the bad news of a loved one passed on. Oh, where blind eyes will see and the sick will be well. Oh, look what God gave me when he saved me from hell. I was an asking for a beautiful mansion by the not been told it's just too good to tell oh but look what God gave me when he saved scared to death getting out of school, but I know he's going to hold me, Brandon. I ain't, ain't got to worry about it. I'm just thankful I'm saved to see you.
I think we can do a little bit better than that, can't we? Let us all stand to our feet. I believe we can do a little bit better than that right there. These little fellas have been asking to sing, and, and uh, I'm not one, I'm not the preacher that'll say, no, you can't sing tonight. Who am I? Hey man, them's God's little fellas. Hey man, there ain't nothing standing in the way of, of, of him being on the brim of glory listening to them little voices tonight. Hey man, that Tim Hammy don't need to get in the way of that. Hey man. All right, let's all stand to our feet. And uh, I tell you what I want us to do. I want us to give the Lord a hand clap for all that's been done tonight. That's all. all right, here we go. You got your Bibles, turn with us to the book of Psalms 121. Psalms 121 right there. Verse number one is where I'm going to start reading. Also, uh, look with me in Zechariah chapter number four. I'm not going to hold you long tonight. I feel like this. I feel like that there's been a lot of on, on folks' hearts this evening. And, uh, and, but, I, but I do want to give you some... Some, uh, some Bible tonight and, and give you what uh, the Lord has laid on my heart, been on it all day, all this week, have thought about it, and uh, got to talking with my dear wife this evening, this afternoon, and uh, he's been working on her heart with the same scripture. Isn't that something? And uh, we don't often talk about uh, what the Lord, how the Lord's directing uh, before I get here. But uh, what a blessing. What a blessing that He's given me a good godly wife that knows the Bible and uh, that, that knows Him. Amen? And uh, I want to encourage you young people, listen, our youth choir, it, it consists of a bunch of young ladies. There will be young boys to follow. Amen? So when they follow, you remember this. You find you a good, godly young man that loves the Lord Jesus Christ and, and as his Savior, that wants to follow his will and follow his lead, and he'll love you the way that he's supposed to love you. Amen? That's a little extra night. Won't cost you a thing. Psalms 121, verse number 1, and it says that, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Amen. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Ah, it's pretty weak tonight. I said He's going to preserve us from all evil. Amen. That may not mean much to you tonight, but that means, that means a little something right here to the preacher. And, it's, and it goes on and says right here, the Lord shall pre pre preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Amen. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Dear Heavenly Father, we bow before you this evening. We thank you for all you've done for us, Lord God. We thank you for, for leading us, for guiding us, for allowing us to be in your house this evening. Lord, I pray that you'll give the increase right here for just a, just a few minutes. Father, I pray that you'll open the windows of glory tonight. Lord, and you pour your spirit out upon us. Father, we thank you for what we felt. We thank you for what we've, what we've uh, uh, experienced while we've been here this evening, Lord God, and it has been a good place to be. Lord, we pray that tonight, Lord God, that just go out and encourage the hearts of your people. Hide me behind your cross, guard my tongue, in your precious and holy name we do pray. Amen and amen. All right, now also I had you to mark... Uh, Zechariah chapter number 4 and I'm going to go there in just a second but I want to look at just a couple of things right here if I could in Psalms 121 it said that I will lift up mine eyes 
unto the hills, from whence, from whence cometh my help. Amen. I'm glad. I'm glad that when Tim Hamby, when ha- when Tim Hamby calls out Abba Father, I'm glad that I know where my help cometh from. Amen. Amen. It's important our Christian fellowship, our coming to the house of God. All of that, all that is just reasonable service is what the Bible says, amen? And that's just reasonable service coming to the house of God and, and, and being a testimony for Him. All that's just reasonable. But I'm talking about beyond all that. I'm talking about when Tim Hamby uh, gets in that valley that nobody else knows that Tim Hamby's in that valley. Amen? When Has ever, anybody ever been there? That, that when Nobody knows what I'm going through. Nobody knows the worry. I had to be careful about that. I know what many of you may think. Pastor, you shouldn't be worrying. You ought to have more faith in that. I'm just a man. Sometimes I worry about things. Amen? But I'm glad to know that when I'm in that valley or when I'm in that low or when I'm in that troubled water, I know in where my help comes from. Amen? Even when, listen, I've got some of the best friends ever that I've ever had right here sitting in this room tonight. I know that you would help me any way that you could, most of you, amen. And I know that if I, but what if you were busy? What if you try to, what if you need me? Try to call me and I'm up on Greasy Creek or I'm up up on the property. You can't get a hold of me up there. Amen. We're hoping to get some cell service up there one of these days. Y'all calm down just a little bit. Got to get a hold of the preacher. Amen, but I'm talking about when we're in that low and when we're in that spot and wish that we don't, boy, we just don't know what to do. We don't know where to turn. We don't know, we don't know what to do. Where does our help come from? I just read you right there. That it comes from the Lord. Amen. That's when, I said this just a second ago, when he is, when, when, when we're in that lowest of low, and when we're, when we think that our prayers don't matter. Anybody ever been there? Yep. Hey, it feels like, well, we pray and we pray and we pray and we get up and you think, well, I didn't even cry when I prayed. Or I didn't even, boy, I didn't even, I didn't even feel anything when I was praying. Do you know what? It's in that very time that the God of all creation has inclined his ear unto your prayer. And he heard every single word he said seen every single thing that was in your heart. Amen. Amen. But what, what, what stands in the way a lot of times of us knowing, understanding and realizing that he's going to hold us fast, Macy. Understanding and realizing and knowing is that this thing called the flesh gets in the way. Turn with me to Zechariah chapter number 4 if you would. I preached out of Nehemiah this morning. Know that that I I talked about uh, when when Israel was coming back and when they were coming, Nehemiah uh, instructed to build the wall right there. And I'm not going to get on this morning's message, I don't think. But uh, Zerubbabel right here, he he was one of the first ones. He brought the first wave out of captivity after 70 years. So he brought them back into Jerusalem. Could you imagine what he was thinking? Could you imagine what he was feeling? He knew the Lord. He knew the work that the Lord had for him. There wasn't, no, there wasn't any question about that. But can you, could you imagine about bringing? Man alive, I get a little bit excited when I get to thinking about this. Hey, could you imagine what he must have felt knowing that he was bringing God's children the first wave back into Jerusalem? Isn't that something? Into Judah? Hey man, but I I like what the the angel right here in in chapter number 4 of Zechariah. He said, the angel talked with me and came again and waked me as a man that is waked out of his sleep, and said unto me, What seest thou? And I said, I have looked, and behold, the candlestick of gold, 
with a bowl upon the top of it and, and his seven lamps thereon and seven pipes. All of that right there is very significant. I don't have time to go into that tonight, but seven candlesticks of gold, the bowl upon the top of it and the seven lamps thereon and the seven pipes with seven lamps which are upon the top thereof. And two olive trees by it. One upon the right side of the bowl and the other upon the left side thereof. Have you heard of that before? How about that cross? Had two men, one on the left side and one on the right. Amen, let me go on. And, and so I answered and spake to the angel and that, that talked with me saying, What are these, my Lord? Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what what these be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he answered, verse number 6, pay attention right there tonight. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my Spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. See, it's not going to be of anything that you, that get you out of that low, other than you looking to where your help comes from. It's not going to be anything of the church that, that pulls you out, although the church, the church is so vitally important. Amen. There's times, I'm going to be just transparent for just a second. Can I do that? There's been times that, boy, I've just been low and then get to the house of God and get to fellowshipping with His people. And oh my, I walk out in a better shape than what I came in. Is that not what church is supposed to be? Is that not what the assembling of ourselves together is supposed to be? Amen. That we can encourage one another. That we can pray for one another. That we can lift one another up. But understand and know this. That, that, and we say and we know that everybody that's been born again, I know that you say, I know where my help comes from. But we find ourselves still yet in that deep low. In that time of confusion, in that time that, that we just don't understand, that's at the time that the rubber, I, I like to call it the rubber's meeting the road. And even at that time that you think that your prayers, oh my, there's something going on. There's something that's separating, even... Even at those times, I've got to fix this or I've got to do this or I've got to do that. It's not going to be by you doing anything other than looking to the Lord Jesus Christ. Preacher, I feel like sometimes my prayers, I've heard this, I feel like my prayers don't get above my hat bill. Amen, I've been there. But the Lord is still God. He sent the best heaven had for you and for me. Hey Amen. And if he's going to do that, he's going to hear your prayer. Above all of these children, I know they've been wide open tonight. I'll get back to my last thought and then we'll go. All these children tonight, they've been wired up. And they usually are. And the thing about that, even I've got the, my little baby there. When she was a baby baby, back in that sanctuary or back in the fellowship hall back there, the old fellowship hall, with all the screaming children back there in Bible school and, and all of that, having all those children. Y'all remember those days? 150 kids back there going crazy. Amen. Us trying to just love them and give them Jesus and not kill them. Amen. Hey, tell the Lord that, Lord, they just something happened to them. I don't know why it happened. Amen. But you know what? Through all of that, through all of that, I can, out of every kid here, I can pick Andy Cage cry yeah. out of that. He knows your cry. He understands where you're at. He's not forgotten you. The devil would love to convince us 
that the Lord forgot about us, that the church has forgot about us, that boy, our prayers don't matter, our songs of praise don't matter, our, our, our praise just don't, he, that, why even waste the time, amen? But you know what? According to God's Word, amen, all that matters. Amen. Out of all the creation that God created, you matter to Him the most. Isn't that wonderful tonight? I like what, he, what, 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 what the angel speaks to Zerubbabel right here. He said, not by might, nor by power. Not by man, nor by army. Can I just word it that way this evening? Not by, word, not by, not by man, or not by army. Listen to what it says. But by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. That's when he's inclined unto us. Amen. That's, that's when that, that, that we've got to understand, realize that we can't do anything on our own. Now, I know that we're men here and there's several men in the house tonight and we like to bow our chest up. And John, we like to think, boy, I've got this thing. I've got to fix this. I've got to do that. I've got to do this. Let me just say this to you, friend. Spiritually, hey man, it's not going to come from you. Spiritually, it's not going to come from the preacher, even though I'll encourage you, amen. I'll back you up and I'll, I'll, I'll scotch you up, amen. I'll hold your arms up when you're too tired to hold them up. I'll, I'll do the best I can to, to scotch you up, amen. But it's going to take the Spirit of the Lord carrying you through. Are we willing to look? Are we willing to look to Him? I think about this. I think about, think about Peter when he stepped out of the boat. I was thinking about this this morning. I know it's familiar scripture to us, and I, and I, but I got to thinking about Peter this morning when I, was, when I was up in the mountain and I was praying. I was talking to the Lord. I, for some reason, Peter come across my mind about Peter stepping out of that boat. We all know that, don't we? Yes, we all know that. Amen. Yeah, I got to thinking, my, 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 we're living in a day and time that, that we need some folks to step up to the plate and, as a Peter, amen, as saying, you know what, we are going to stand. As to say that, you know what, we are, we're going to trust in the Lord no matter what. Amen. There's so many, so many that's stuck in your little boat. Mm-hmm. That's stuck in your, that, let, me, let me just say, will you say, well, preacher, Peter got out and began to sink. Yeah, but at least he got out of the boat. Amen. I want to be, I want to be one of those that step out. I want to be one of those that encourages my brothers and sisters in Christ to just trust in the Lord. To just pray to him. When you don't even feel like praying, pray to him anyway. Amen. I love it when we got a good altar of prayer going on. You know what? And the Spirit of God is moving so thick. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you know what? There'll be this and praying and that and praying and this and had a little fella, a little guy one time asked me, said, Preacher, how do you hear all those prayers? I said, it ain't, they ain't praying to me, little buddy. But you know what? Through all those prayers, praying at the same time, God can cipher each and every word. Hey man, it's going to be by and through His Spirit in which that we make it. It's going to be by and through His Spirit. It ain't going to be nothing a man does. It's, it's not going to, hey, it's going to be by and through His Spirit. Amen? We've got to long for that Spirit. We've got to desire to have that Spirit. We've got to, we've got to look for that Spirit. Amen? If we'll do that, guess what? I like what the, what the verses reads on, on down in verse number 7. It said, Who... Who art thou, O great mountain? I like this. Before Zerubbabel. Look at this next part right here, what it says. Thou shalt become as a plain. There ain't nothing going to stand in the way of Zerubbabel, amen? Even a great a thing as a mountain is going to become as a plain. Look what it says. And shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shoutings, crying, grace, grace unto it. I don't know about you tonight, but I believe we ought to be shouting grace, grace this evening. 
I believe that tonight we ought to be. We ought to be looking, especially, listen, if you're in that spot or if you're in that valley, if you're whatever, whatever it is, where from the, from the one that is at the, at the peak spiritually that you, you've just been, never been as close to God as what you are right now. Hey Amen. I believe you ought to be shouting, grace, grace. Hey Amen. Then to, all, to the one that may be, feel like that you're so distant. You're so distant to the Lord. Hey Amen. I believe this. You ought to be shouting, grace, grace. It's not going to be, do you know where your help comes from this evening? It's not going to be of you. It's not going to be of me. It's not going to be of some army. Hey Amen. But it's going to be by the Lord. Hey Amen. That's where our help comes from. I hope that you know and you see that, and I hope that you'd be willing, if you need to, I, I hope that you'd be willing to put the brakes on. See, we, uh, we as men, I'm fixing the clothes, hang with me. I know we as men, we want to handle everything ourselves. We want to take care of everything ourselves. I, wanna, I don't want to, I don't need any help. But that's when we need the help the most. Can I say to you tonight, call upon your help. He'll hold you fast. We sung about it just a second ago. I'd like for her to come and sing that song again. He'll hold you fast. I don't know what you're going through. don't know what, what you're facing. It may be in your workplace. It may be in your home. But you know what? He's still the Lord. He'll hold you fast. Ain't going to be of anything of you that fixes it. Whatever it is, it ain't going to be anything of, of man. It ain't going to, listen, as much as I love this church, the church can't do nothing without the Lord Jesus Christ. We can't do nothing. We can't, we can't get nobody saved. We can't do none of that without the Spirit of God. He said this, he told Zerubbabel, the, the angel spoke to Zerubbabel, he said there'll not even be a mountain stand in your way. How many believe that tonight? I believe that not even a mountain will stand in our way tonight. Hey Amen. If we'll just, we'll just look to the Lord and we'll just understand that it's going to be by His Spirit. We're going to build this thing. It's going to be by His Spirit. We're going to see folks saved. It's going to be by His Spirit. We're going to see our children grow and, 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 and we're going to see our children dedicate their lives at young ages. Amen. It's going to be by the Spirit of God. And that'll be the only way. And I believe this. I believe that if we'd be willing, we'd be willing to know where our help comes from. We'd be willing to call upon the one that matters tonight. I believe that not even a mountain would stand in our way, Brother Danny. Not even a mountain. We, you know what? He don't love Zerubbabel tonight any more than what he loves you. Isn't that wonderful? He don't love the Apostle Paul. He didn't love the Apostle Paul no more than what he loves you. Isn't that wonderful? And I say this. He's willing to help. If you'd be willing to call on Him. How about it as we stand tonight? Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you give the increase, Lord. I pray that you'll touch hearts. Lord, I don't know the hearts of your people here. Father, And I, I, I just pray, God, and ask, Lord, that you'd just uh, move throughout this congregation. Father, and I pray, God, that, that, that we can help one another. Lord God, that we can pray for one another. But Lord God, that, that we can lift one another up to you. But Lord, our true help comes from you. And without you, we are absolutely nothing. This church without you is just a building. Our homes without you is just desolate. God, I pray that tonight, Lord God, I pray that you go to that one, go to that that, that member tonight, Lord God, those that may be tuning in by way of uh, internet, God, I pray that you would hold that one. Hold them fast, Father. God, I pray that you would hold them close. Speak to them, Lord God. Let them know that they're not alone. And Lord, I pray, God, and ask of you, Lord God, that you just give the increase with your spirit. Lord, we lead you like never before. We desire you, God, and we ask that you pass by. In your precious name we do pray. Amen and amen. As they sing, you got a need tonight, won't you come? Won't you come? Get your neighbor by the hand. Come on. 
Let's pray.